So this is our house. And only half of it's falling down at the moment. I was at the auction to buy a flat in Glasgow and I ended up with Jameswood Villa. He accidentally bid on the wrong unit. They wanted a two bedroom flat in the city centre, but they ended up with an uninhabitable wreck in Dunoon. Cal and Claire spent £40,000 buying Jameswood, leaving them with just £10,000 in their bank account. I think when we started our Instagram, we didn't even really know about the business opportunities. Our social media is a really powerful marketing tool. One that we don't take lightly, but one that can help our project and help us collaborate with brands that are going to help make James Wood, you know, a special home and a beautiful building at the end of the day. We love where we are. The community has been amazing, really receptive, really helping us out. Everybody has been so welcoming uh, and so supportive of the project. I think everyone's really happy to see this being done. It was one day, it was pouring the rain and I came down, for, down to the village and there was a wee boy, as I thought, <laughs> and he was cutting away bushes. I thought he was the apprentice to some person that had bought this house. And I said to him, oh, is your boss away and left you? And he said, no, I actually bought this place. And my first words to him were, are you off your head? I think it's a big task, of course. But I can see the progress. You can see the progress every week. That is going to go, isn't it? Do you want me to try stopping them from going or just let them? It was scary to see your house in a state where it really could collapse. Do you think it's going to go? Here you go. A bit awkward. Oh. oh. So we got a quote for the roof and thought maybe this is one of the tasks that we'll leave for a professional, um, but the quote came back as £40,000. It's quite a lot. Which is out of our budget completely. And that's what we paid so, for the house. So Cal has his dad up this week and you guys yeah, he's have helping us out. a bunch of amazing timber on site and you know this is their bread and butter. Well I'm only here for a week, <laughs> but for, for Callum, um, it's a big project, but I think he's got the, the drive and the energy to, to achieve it. It's, it's a difficult project to uh, pull off that wouldn't make sense to a company, say. They would pull it down and build a new one. But I think it's, it's great taking on the challenge, restoring an interesting old building, and all the implications that has on the local community. I think it's admirable. Tomorrow's our last sunny day, and then after that, the weather's looking a bit dubious. Yeah, so hopefully we can get some uh, something on the roof. A bit concerned about the weather coming in. I'm starting to think we should be building an arc, not a roof. So right now, we are quite literally battening the hatches. That is so rainy. So the storm's definitely moving in. I just remember this really serene moment of like birds chirping, <laughs> sun coming through, and a roof still in place. And just thinking like, wow, I'm glad that's over. <laughs> Cal and Claire are starting the mammoth task of tiling their roof. And with over 3,000 tiles needing to be nailed on by hand, they're both keen to get going. I think Cal and I are both uh, excited, but also really nervous to start. But I'm sure once we get into it, it'll all be all right. After 3,000 slates, 6,000 nails, the odd screw, and more than a couple of banged thumbs. Oh, finally, the last slate is in place. We're done. That, that is such an achievement. Like, look at that, we did that. 
You ready? Yeah. Roof's on. They've still got a lot to do. But if the last three years have shown us anything, they won't stop until Jameswood is the home they've always imagined. Well Cheers.